Hello, I'm in Buffalo Grove. Yes, probably my first video here in this suburb. And this here is an abandoned Dominix. And I think it was used very recently as a COVID test site. So let's go take a look at this. Of course, I've been coming across a lot of these because they've been shut down for a good number of years now and a lot, some of them haven't been taken over. So let's go take a look at this. It's on Lake Cook Road at Arlington Heights Road. An abandoned Dominix. All right, so let's see if we can get some good window shots. It looks like I'm going to here. Not those upper windows, though I can't reach them. All right, so here's the entrance here. Now there's going to be some better shots, so bear with me here. Oh, wow, and look at that. Get the Dominix app. Shop. Huh. You can't shop here, it's closed. I like the aesthetic of this, look at this. Look at that nice wood. I like the bricks too. All right. Look at the nice archway here. Okay, let's get my hands dirty here. Wash them later. Ah, looks like it's been stripped out. Well, I do see some fresh dairy signs though and stuff. Okay. Look at that. Beautiful. It's like that's where the, uh, where that orange is. That's where the, uh, scanners are here, there. I guess a lot of people are saying like, Do well, Dominic's used to be like the premier grocery store in the Chicago area. But I also hear a lot of people saying since Safeway took them over, they started to become not their own anymore, not like how they were founded back in the day. Yeah, some of the signage on the back is still up. Let's stop for a second. This stupid camera won't let me like zoom in. Hold on a second. All right. There we go. See if we can focus on that signage back there. Yeah, Dominic's in its day was like the like the top of the line store, kind of like uh, Marshall Fields, the Marshall Fields equivalent, you know. Very dusty. Yeah, it's mostly stripped out though. It looks like all the shelves are gone and everything. I'm going to have to wash my hands when I get done with this video here. It's like customer service was right there. Okay, is this another entrance here? Yeah, check out that aesthetic. I think the problem is, though, I think Albertsons is holding the leases to a lot of these. That's why a lot of them are still vacant after, I think it was eight years ago, they shut down. Look at 
that. A little bit of Dominic's left over there. That's what the recent that's what the recent logo looked like before they shut down. And they were on the cutting edge too. Like online shopping, like back when they closed, was like not really taken off like it is now. And yeah, check out the various tags on here. 2012 was the last tag. We got 2010, 2009. This is a big one here. Yeah, this must have been where the produce and all that good, all the other goodies are. Deli. Looks like a little bit of signage on that there. Oh, here we go. see my eyes aren't that great that signage there on the left some more signage over there yeah Dominic's was also like pretty expensive too they were expensive on some things. Must have been where the carts would have went here. Yeah, this is an awesome find. I, I, I was looking on Google Maps and it said it was a COVID site and it even had signs on it. And I was worried I wasn't going to be able to do this, but guess what? Ha ha ha, I get to do it. Don't invade anybody's privacy or anything. Still a little bit of signage over there. Wow. It's a nice one here I found. Doesn't look like it's just a plain box. and looks like we reached the end of the line here. Well, let's get one last look at this building. And we'll get out of here. In the nice arches here. Beautiful. Dominic sign would have sat up there. Sorry about the finger. Check that baby out beautiful but abandoned Dominic store in Buffalo Grove I guess we'll shop at Jewel now all right then so from Buffalo Grove from this abandoned Dominic's if you're not a subscriber to my channel please subscribe to my channel please for a lot more content to come make sure you like comment Share these videos, please. God bless you. Continue shopping at your local businesses. Continue shopping at your local mall. Thank you very much. You guys are awesome. Most of you are anyway.